Hello, friends. <laughs> I'm already starting off laughing. This is gonna be an interesting video. I have five sunscreens that I've been trying out, okay? And four were a fail for me. One was a success. <laughs> now, oh, there's a piece of fuzz. Here is the tricky part that I need to discuss with you is I only tried these five sunscreens out for one day this past week. That's it. Normally I test at least a week, sometimes two weeks. I try them out before I make a review video, not this one. This was only one day each. <laughs> one, because they are all, yes, I think they are all sample sizes. Two, they are all from the Sephora Sun Kit of 2022 and I need to, I need to make room for new sunscreens that are dropping, dropping like hotcakes here on the internet. Oh, 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 while you're here, I would love for you to join my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel. The more people subscribe and watch my videos, YouTube pushes it out to a greater audience and we can get the message that sunscreen is important. <laughs> okay, new sunscreen day. This is the uh, sample <laughs> glow recipe that I got in the Sephora Sun Kit of 2022. Yes, I'm still working my way through that sun kit because there were so many sunscreens. Were people raving about this one? And I know Glow Recipe, is it? Is it still a thing? Okay, it came out white. I probably should put more. Sean, this is not your first rodeo. It's like a gray color. It's not perfectly white. It has aloe, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and it's supposed to be glowy. Well, let's see. <laughs> Okay, yes, I cracked myself up. Oh, okay. I do have moisturizer on this morning and I let it sit for 10 minutes before putting this very white sunscreen on. Why is it so white? I thought this was an all chemical sunscreen. Well, maybe it's not, maybe it has. Why am I burning a little bit around my nose? I blow my nose a lot. This is burning a little bit around my nose. That's not good. That is not good. It's fragrance free. Why? Why is my nose burning? Hmm. Hopefully it'll stop. Well, that's an odd reaction. I don't normally have. That happened once more with a sunscreen a long time ago. This is very greasy. And to me, it looks like it has a slight white cast, which is saying a lot. If it has a white cast on my skin tone, you know it's gonna have white cast on darker skin tones. All right, I'll be back in 10, 15 minutes. We'll see if this sets down and if the burning stops. <laughs> I'll be back. Ooh, it's sticky on my hands too. Oh, sticky on my face now too, it's sticky. It's still very sticky. The burning has subsided, but I did get additional burning over here as well as around my nose. And as you can tell, it's glowy. I'm gonna put foundation on top and check back in with you in two hours. I changed sweatshirts. <laughs> I do not like this glow recipe sunscreen. Let me just cut straight to the point. My face is sticky. It just remains sticky. It feels sticky. It hasn't set down. It's been two and a half hours since I applied it. I mean, it looks fine under my makeup, but it feels sticky. It feels like it's... This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud moisturizer that's a long name it's like it comes in a little pump this is is this all chemical avo benzone homosalate octosalate octocrylene yes that's probably a good amount by the way i am oh that is yeah it feels like a moisturizer i am loving these cloud towels okay i told you that i would give you like an update on them they are absorbent so our bathroom holds moisture like no other like stuff moisture just can't get out we have a fan and i swear it does absolutely nothing <laughs> we leave the door open when we take a shower and it's just constantly wet in here and our towels were just staying damp so i was doing laundry i was replacing my towel every day my husband was replacing his every other day our shower towels and it was just ridiculous how much laundry i've been doing with towels so i finally invested in the sand cloud is that what they're called sand something towels i went four days 
and it didn't have the wet towel smell. We've been using it for a week and a half. I've only washed them once. I just washed them recently. And I think I'll just have to wash them when I feel like they're getting dirty. <laughs> Not when they're wet and have that wet towel smell and dampness. So I'm excited about that. This is very moisturizing. Like it just feels like, honestly, this feels like a heavy moisturizer. Like something you would put on before you go to bed at night. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it about 10, 15 minutes and we'll continue putting a little bit more on. It's very thick filling, not on my face, but in my hands. And then I'll be back and we'll see how it sits under a foundation. Okay, it's been 13 minutes. It has dried down, it is slightly tacky, but not bad. And as you can see, it's still a natural finish, which I really like. I think it did have a little bit of a scent, but I've also got some scented hand soap going on, so I'm not sure. I did put a different sunscreen around my eyes. I put the Biosense Sheer Mineral Sunscreen around my eye area. All right, I've got bacon in the air fryer, getting ready to make some nachos. I'm watching the Alec Murdoch trial on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been just very congested and dry. I haven't gone outside. I met, I had so much, so much on my to-do list, so much I want to get done today. And I've just felt very congested. I've got like sniffles and blah, and it's gross outside. I'm standing in front of a window so you can see that this sunscreen, it does have a little bit of a shine here, um, but it's a moisturizing sunscreen. I needed some moisture today and this provided that. <laughs> And it seems to be doing well under my foundation. I don't like the way it makes my foundation feel. It feels a little more tacky than it normally does. Yeah, I don't plan on going outside until I have to pick the kids up from school. So this is a three hour check-in on the sunscreen. Okay, another new sunscreen. Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50. It says primer and moisturizer, water resistant 80 minutes sample. And it is all chemical, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and oxybenzone. Okay, two, it is thick, it's not moving. Feels like a moisturizer. I may have gotten too much. <laughs> oh, that's a very strong fragrance. I do not like that. That is very strong. To pull this down. I mean, I hate to say it, but it smells like a woman who has lived a very long life, who sits in a pew in a traditional church with her hair quaffed with aquanet and her nose senses dulled. I do not like the smell. Let's wait to 15 minutes. See if it sets down. It looks a little glowy. I do feel a burning sensation. Am I allergic to some kind of chemical sunscreen that I don't know about? I feel like a little bit of a, like a, like a little bit of a burning right through here. My nose is dry. So if I was going to get a burning sensation, it would normally be here, but I'm not. I'm getting it here. Okay. Okay. It has been 12 minutes since I applied the Lancome sunscreen. You can see it is still glowy. It feels slightly tacky. It does feel thin. That's good. I can still smell it though. After 12 minutes, it still smells just as strong. It does. Can you tell it does come off on your finger when you touch your face? To be honest with you, I would not purchase this because of the very strong scent. <laughs> odor? Odor. Odor is a more accurate description. <laughs> Okay, it's been three hours since I put on that long comb sunscreen. I don't think it looks too shiny. Um, the deal breaker for me is the scent. The scent stayed on for two, two and a half hours. I feel like I just either got used to it right now or it finally dissipated. But ugh. I think if you have drier skin, this would work well because it definitely was moisturizing and it still feels moisturizing. I don't like how my foundation first applied to it. I feel like the sunscreen and the foundation mixed together. It's a no-go. I'm all pass on this sunscreen. A headache this morning. <laughs> Just moisturized. I'm gonna try out the Cica Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It's SPF 30. It has 2.8% titanium dioxide and 5.8% zinc oxide. 
from the Sephora Sun Kit and it is green. <laughs> I'm gonna try the method where I'm, I'm gonna trust myself to put on an appropriate mount. I do have redness, so we're not gonna do the usual two fingers because this is a weird texture. Okay, that, it feels moisturizing, but it, it's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. But that was one reason why I wanted to work it in slowly. It seemed like it was gonna be thicker. It looks thicker. And sometimes I find that working them in slowly actually does a better job. So I'm still getting a decent amount. Well, you can see the green, can't you? <laughs> Obviously, I would not wear this. Oh, geez. I would not wear this by itself. Because I would look like a green alien. But under makeup? We'll see if it color corrects and cancels. We'll see. I mean, it doesn't feel good. It smells like eucalyptus. So I'm not gonna put it around the direct eye area and we'll try to avoid that because I wear contacts and my eyes get sensitive. I do have combination skin. Right now my nose is super dry. I don't feel any sort of like burning sensation or I feel like a menthol sensation, maybe a little tiny bit of a menthol sensation. I can't put this on my ears because I'm not gonna put foundation on my ears. I'll have to put a different sunscreen on my ears because I don't want them, I don't wanna walk around green. I'm planning on going to Target today. <laughs> it looks like a natural finish. It's not glowy and it's not matte. So I'm gonna finish up. I'm gonna put the Biosance around my eyes again. That's what I've been doing. And on my ears and finish, <laughs> finish up my, my green neck. <laughs> what is that song? Green, green grass. <laughs> That's what this is. Green, green grass on my face. <laughs> okay, it has been 10 minutes since I put on the green sunscreen. And you can see I look sickly, green sickly, and I still have a lot of redness. Do you see that? Like, look at all this redness still. Like, cheeks, nose, up here. So I don't know how well it actually cancels out redness, but um, it doesn't feel like it's set down very well. It's still sticky. I can still feel it on my face. I'm going to use my regular Misha on top of it and see um, how well it sits. You can tell I'm not very excited, <laughs> excited about this one. <laughs> can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> All right, ignore the redness on my nose. <laughs> I've been blowing my nose like crazy. I've been sneezing up a storm. It's colder here today. It feels actually feels like winter. Okay, this... Sika, it looks fine under makeup. I don't know that it actually canceled any redness out. You saw. And it did change the color of my foundation. So I had to bring my foundation all the way down under my shirt line to prevent it from being so weird. But there's no sun. There's no sun out today. It's just clouds. <laughs> I do feel like I have a little more texture here. I mean, it's not bad, but not a win for me. On closer inspection in the mirror, it's very glowy. Um, the shine definitely popped through my sunscreen. Again, I just, I've been blowing my nose a lot. Um, especially up here on my forehead, and it looks a little cakey, which I don't normally have an issue with. And right here, this is a problem area of mine, and it looks super textured. I just don't like the way it looks under foundation. Do you guys ever get the creasing on your eyelids? I'm supposed to get some of the Urban Decay primer, eyelid primer, because my eyeshadow's been creasing. Good morning! Trying the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen SPF 36 sample from the, you guessed it, you're right, the Sephora Sun Kit. <laughs> it is all chemical. Avobenzone Homosalate Octosalate. I remember there being some hype around this one, right? But I don't remember what the hype was. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We'll let's, let's find out. One, two. My hands are so dry. Anybody else's hands super dry? Definitely has a scent. Smells like sunscreen. Feels sticky. Sticky. It feels moisturizing. Sort of, maybe. I don't know. It just feels like... I, 
so many sunscreens. I'm not gonna put it around my eyes because it's chemical and I will instantly regret that. Doesn't feel thick, doesn't feel thin. It's not too greasy feeling, it feels more like, I don't know, in between a moisturizer and a regular sunscreen texture. Boy, I'm really doing a great job describing this today. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish putting it on my ears, on my neck. I'll be back 10, 15 minutes, let's see if it sets down. It looks like it's gonna be slightly glowy now, but looks like it might lean towards a natural finish, but we'll find out, I'll be back. Y'all, it is the day before Valentine's Day and I only have my husband a card. <laughs> I've got to go today and get him. I know what I wanna get him. There's some beard oil from this local soap company that he, when we were in the, the building, when we visited, he said he wanted, so I'm gonna go back and purchase that today, but I forgot to look if they were open on Mondays. Anybody else relate? Anyways, it's a little glowy. It's a little glowy. This has been, been like 12, 13, 14 minutes. I, I lost track, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a little glowy. It did set down very nicely though. Like it's not too sticky. It feels very nice on my skin. I like that. I'm gonna put some foundation on and I will do a two hour check-in in some natural light. As you can see, look how much sunshine, sunshine we actually have outside. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for sunshine. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> it's been two hours. My hair is awfully floofy today. I am loving, if you can see up close, the Innisfree. It doesn't change the um, texture of my foundation. It doesn't mess with the foundation at all, which is fantastic. I, I can't even tell I'm wearing sunscreen. The scent went away super fast. I don't notice the scent anymore. And you can see there's no shine popping through. It's just, yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> um, I'm out running errands. You remember I told you <laughs> that I forgot to get, well, I didn't forget, but I had procrastinated getting my husband his birthday, his Valentine's Day gift I got right here. Um, Buff City Soap in Clemson, South Carolina. They have several locations and I think you can order online. But I also picked up for myself <laughs> because you know, it's it's a drive here for me. I got the Laundry Scent Booster in Magnolia, which is fantastic. And I got the Body Butter and Pink Sugar. Sorry, I got distracted by a bird. Um, I have the Whipped Soap in Pink Sugar and it's fantastic. So I had to get the Body Butter. And while I was over here, I stopped by the Whimsy Cookie and I picked up lots of delicious cookies from the whimsy the whimsy cookie i'm gonna head back home today is actually valentine's day when i'm filming and i know i showed you i talked about the beard oil that i picked up and the cookies i have not given my family the cookies yet so those are those are coming everybody's at school and work and i did give my husband the beard oil and he was very excited <laughs> so there's that oh hi jojo the cats, you know, I mean, look, look at this fluffy tail. The one that was a success for me was the Innisfree. The only thing is, is it's all chemical. And you know me, I like a mineral component. So I will be wearing this, but I'll be wearing my Misha BB cream on top. That's the other thing I needed to share with you. I failed to mention the beginning. I tried all of these sunscreens out with the same foundation. My Misha tried and true BB cream that I absolutely love. I'll put information about it in the description box below so that I was consistent across the board. I use the same moisturizer underneath. Have you tried any of these? What are your thoughts on them? Are you getting these Sephora Sun Kit 2023 this year? Because I am. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one.